Hi guys and welcome back on this channel for a new Male vlog. This time we are in Spain for the Eco Rally Valencia. Well, we've already been here last year, but this time we want to make it a little bit different because we want to show you some of the behind the scenes action. We want to show you how we prepare for the race and also how we shoot the footage. So I would say, let's go and have a lot of fun. So good morning, this is the first day of the Eco Rally Valencia, but before we can start with the racing action, we have to do some administrative checks. So we have to hand in some documents and we have to show them our license, our driver's license and the racing license. And well, afterwards, we are ready to go. So after the administrative checks, uh, we just received the stickers for our car and well, yeah, we just put them on right now. <laughs> So now we go to the technical check, so the organization check if the cars are ready to drive. As an example, if the cars or the, the tires are okay or that the lights are on or the stickers are in the right position. So we hope that our Zoe is okay to drive and we will see. So now I want to explain to you what I'm as a co-driver am working with um, and I basically work uh, well with an app which is called Rabbit Rally and that shows me the average speed mostly and of course also well the distance that we've made and I'm working with a stopwatch of course and very special the roadbook and now I want to explain to you the roadbook um, well you have sections um, where you drive on time and where you don't drive on time. So, um, well, there are some, well, let's say, yeah, some stages where you drive uh, by a several average speed, and this is also showed in the roadbook. Um, on the left side of the roadbook, you always see the distance. Um, in the middle, you can see the direction that you have to follow, and afterwards, in that section, you can see, um, well, the average speed that you have to, to keep on driving to really be on time and to get, well, good points, I would say. And on the right side, there's, well, it's called information section and that's where you can see the road signs that you have to follow and that you, well, that you make it to the finish line. <laughs> we are now on our four hours break because Zoe has to recharge. And in the meantime, we drove to the sea and we are shooting some very cool footage for you guys because we are flying the drone. I want to tell you some bro and contra about our Renault Zoe. So first of all, I think we start with bro. And of course, I think the big advantage is that we go up to the hill. It's quite good when we have a lot of corners because this car is really small. So we can go really good into the corners and I like it, of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, a contra, I think as a race car driver, I need the sound, of course. But yeah, we go on.
Well, we just came back from the first leg of the day and our Zoe has to recharge for about four hours before we can start into the night stage. Well, and in that time, we will drive to Valencia to visit the Male Tech Center. So we've just arrived here at the Male Electronics Tech Center in Valencia and I just ran into our friend Alfredo Perez. Alfredo, it's so great to see you again. You're yeah, very welcome. Thank you so much. And he's going to show us where the future of e-mobility is being developed. Okay, so um, what we do here is very important for e-mobility because we are uh, creating the hardware and the software uh, to control the motor. Mm -hmm. um, it's very important that in the motor you have a very sound and solid uh, algorithm of control yes. uh, to avoid uh, functional safety problems mm -hmm. like sudden acceleration or stop. This is a key thing for immobility and it's something that you are enjoying in your eco rally yeah. when you are pushing your pedal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and now I will show you about the functional safety guys. Mm -hmm. The guys who take care of your safety while you are in the eco ride. Ah, that's great. Yeah. That's very interesting actually. Yeah, they, they make a good job either in the hardware or in the software. Mm -hmm. And they take off all the possible failures yeah. and treat them safely. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sitting here with Mr. Maya and Mr. Maya is the director of Mala Electronics. Mr. Maya, can you tell me why these electronics are so important for e-mobility? <clears throat> um, the key driver for e-mobility is power conversion and our key products are focusing on converting power. We have for example a three-phase onboard charger who is converting 380 volt AC into DC, mm -hmm. we convert 400 volt DC into 12 volt DC and when you want to drive an electric car you have to convert again 400 volt DC into AC and all this, doing all this in the most efficient way are, is our core task. Ah, alright. And well I've heard that you're always looking for new talents and new faces. Can you tell me why is it so special to work here in Valencia? So if you follow the press, especially over the last one, two months, the transformation is really speeding up. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's, it's a, a once in a lifetime experience being really part of such an industry transformation. Absolutely. And this is a huge chance for young talents. And beside that, uh, Valencia is a great city to live. So <laughs> I another think so good too. motivation to, to work with us here. Yeah. Thank you so much for your information and for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so I think we've learned a lot about electronics, but now we really have to hurry up because we have to go back to Castellón for the next stage. <laughs> so we've just finished the night stage and Michel, what would you say? How was it? How did it feel like? Oh my god, the night stage was so, so great. I like it because we had um, yeah, the racetrack, of course, and I was so funny and so happy. And I thought, um, you was happy too? Uh, absolutely, like 100%. That was just crazy. I mean, driving with a professional on a racetrack, that, I mean, there's nothing better, really. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So we have to recharge the car too. So see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
So we finished the second eco rally of the year, and Michelle, this has been the second eco rally for you with us. Yeah. So did you enjoy it? Of course, really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank you so much for taking part in it. Yeah. And guys, well, we finished the rally on P18 in the World Cup and on P10 in the Consumption Cup. Amazing, isn't yes. it? And if you guys have any questions left, please leave them in the comments. And I would say, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time around. Bye. Bye.